what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and today i will discuss on one of my favorite characters from the ramayana <laughs> because we share some similar interests when it comes to food and <laughs> some other areas yes 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 today's video is not on haman it is not on lord ram it is not on lakshman it's nobody today's video is on yes it's the big man kumkaran <laughs> <laughs> so Kumkarn was the brother of Ravana. We all know that, yes. So, what are the lessons that he is wanting to teach us by his behavior and by the blunders that he had done during the entire course of the Ramayana? All right. So today we will discuss on them quickly. So if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it, or else Kumkarn will wake up and force you to subscribe. <laughs> And if you want a consultation, then please approach me through my link. It is there in the description below in the in the website. Go there and see the options and then mail me accordingly. All right. So today is the topic of Kumkaran. So I must say God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And you must find God because God is the only one who can protect you from this Kumkaran which is there. So now Kumkaran, who exactly he is? Kumkaran is the brother of Ravan, Vibhishan and Supnaka and he was equally demoniac like his elder brother Ravana. We all know that. He had terrorized the entire universe. Yes, he had he had conquered the demigods, he, has, he had conquered everybody. It is said that he used to eat so much that Lord Brahma, the creator of this material mundane universe, was in tension <laughs> that what will happen one day if he keeps eating like this, everybody will be extinguished because he used to, he used to uh, devour towns and cities literally. Yes, he used to drink the blood and flesh of humans and it's total disaster. And he was a demon actually, he was a Rakshas. So that was his staple food. But his quantity was like, my goodness. Nobody can imagine. So, when Lord Brahma came to give him the benedictions, he had done severe penance. And then Lord Brahma asked, what you need? And then the demigods did some conspiracy. No, uh, what do you say? Na? Necessary evil. <laughs> so, the demigods came and requested uh, Goddess Saraswati that without any benedictions, this person is devouring the entire universe. What will happen if he gets benedictions from Brahma? Yes. So, he was about to ask something. But before he could ask, the demigods requested Goddess Saraswati to go and speak on his behalf from the tongue. So, Goddess Saraswati came and sat on his tongue. It is said. And then Kumkaran asks Lord Brahma, Oh, greatest of the great. <laughs> Please bless me that I will always keep sleeping. <laughs> And then Brahma ji immediately when he heard that he said, So be it, Tathastu. <laughs> Brahma ji also knew that, my God, this is the time, man. Just just give him whatever he has said. <laughs> Otherwise, later on, if he changes it, I will be in some serious trouble because I will anyways end up uh, giving him what he is asking. Yes? So, that... Uh, that uh, that disaster happened in his life when he asked and immediately when Saraswati left from his tongue he was like my god what I what what did I just ask man I will just sleep <laughs> no I didn't want to ask this why did I speak this and then later on Brahma also said that okay you will be awake for one day you know? don't worry <laughs> so he was the personification of ignorance, avidya, tamas. He is the personification. Can you imagine sleeping for six months? My God, terrible it is. So much tamas is there. He represents those category of people these days who will keep sharing photos on Facebook. Oh, I just want to sleep. Why, why you need food? Why you need a boyfriend? Why you need a girlfriend? Why you need uh, movies when you can sleep? Yes. Those people are his descendants <laughs> because they are following in his footsteps. And what happened at the end? He met his dead end. Yes, his life ended in a disaster. So Kumkaran 
as I have uh, given in the title of this video, determined thief. Determined thief means my guru used to say. Uh, he used to say in Hindi, "Ham kabhi nahi sudrenge." Should I repeat? "Ham kabhi nahi sudrenge." Should I repeat once again? "Ham kabhi nahi sudrenge." <laughs> Why? Because Kumbhakaran knew exactly who Lord Ram was, which means that he was totally conscious of the fact that Lord Ram is not an ordinary person. He is the supreme personality of Godhead. Shri Vishnu himself, his Nara and Lord Hari himself, the the end of it all, the creator of the entire uh, universes, every, the creator of everything. In fact, he is everybody. <laughs> he is everybody's father, as they say, na. He is Parampita. He is even the creator of Brahma also. So he is all in all. He is all powerful. Kumkaran knew this, and how do how do we know that Kumkaran knows this? When Ravan wakes Kumkaran. to fight and defend lanka then kumkaran tells to ravan oh my dear elder brother what a blunder have you done <laughs> what a blunder you have done you have kidnapped the goddess of fortune my god have you lost it totally you kidnapped so many people you killed so many you raped so many you murdered so many i never told you anything <laughs> but now the act which you have done that will completely that will extinguish the entire race of the rakshasas you don't know what you have done you and your entire entire the rakshas kul will end it will end nobody can save us so kumkaran knew it he chastises ravana datte as they say in hindi mein <laughs> he as the younger brother he tries uh, his best to tell ravana yes but even though he knows that ravana has done a very big mistake and even though he knows that ravana is on the side of adharma sin pap irreligiosity but he still ends up supporting ravana at the end that is the disaster that is total disaster because kumkaran knew exactly who ram was and even after that see he knew who was ram he knew who was ravan he was very clear on this but even then he went and sided on the side of ravan that that was his blunder and what happened at the end lord ram killed him however he was killed that is secondary but he was killed at the end he did not survive yes so kumkaran represents those tendencies inside us like for example we know that we should not do this yes there's something we should not do <laughs> or there are many things we know which we should not do but still jaan bujh ke karenge hum kabhi nahi sudrenge that is why the tagline is determined thief we are determined to do wrong things even if we know they are not correct they should not be done the scriptures do not permit of that yes <laughs> especially this is very true with people in india many people in india i know because in india there's lot of this talks na right wrong good bad so people know everything what is right what is wrong what is good what is bad people know it in here in the west when i see i saw i see some people doing some nonsense then i go and ask them oh, why are you doing this then the people are like, oh what's the problem with this na what's the problem but in india at least if you see somebody is doing something wrong you go and ask them then they will be a bit shaky na oh okay i know the religion says don't do this religion says don't do that anyways it's not a point of indians versus foreigners but the thing is whoever you are you are a man you are a woman you are a indian you are a japanese you are a zoroastrian or you are a christian or muslim whoever you are sometimes <laughs> we know that there are some things which we should not, which we should not do our inner voice tells us the cons conscience tells us that please don't do this if you do this you will suffer don't stay with that person who is discussing about uh, who is having an affair with whom yes who is drinking alcohol don't go and associate with him or with her <laughs> Yes, but you still end up doing that. जान बूझ के करते हैं क्योंकि हम कभी नहीं सुधरेंगे 
and then what happens we meet the dead end like kumkaran did so the lesson kumkaran wants to tell us is don't <laughs> as in hindi lesson apne pair pe kulhari marna I, i don't know how to translate it in english uh, chopping your own uh, feet yes is that the wrong translation <laughs> it's like willingly destroying uh, yourself as in scriptures there is a saying they say na uh, happily willingly drinking poison that is what is kumkaran even after knowing that lord ram is god himself ravana is ravana is the worst of the living beings that can exist you end up supporting ravana now what should have kumkaran done when kumkaran goes to fight ravan uh, to to fight ram then vibhishan tells to lord ram that please give me one chance i will try to console my brother and try to bring him on our side and vibhishan goes and talks to kumkaran that my dear my dear brother you know our elder brother is going to perish but if you fight on his side he will also perish nobody can defeat lord ram so please come on our side at least you will remain from our uh, family kumkaran said my dear younger brother i know what you are saying i know that today my life will not be spared because nobody can fight against ram he is vishnu himself nobody can fight and i also know that ravana will die his death is destined but still what to do i am so attached to him <laughs> asakti na attachment as in asmi is this na tan tan means <laughs> tan means it's like a magnet which is pulling him you. you can't you can't get out of it shackles yes yeah, so kumbhakaran's attachment to ravana was dangerous and in fact because of kumbhakaran's presence ravana's uh, his sinful mentality got a lot of uh, what, what do you say na in hindi you say उसको बहुत हवा मिला यस विच मीन्स दैट ही वॉज वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट दैट यस कुमकरण इज देयर ऑन माई साइड आई कैन डू वॉट एवर आई वॉन्ट बिकॉज नो बडी कैन डिफीट हिम वॉट हु विल डिफीट कुमकरण माई गॉड इज इम्पॉसिबल इवन डेमी गॉड फॉर गेट डेमी गॉड नो बडी नो बडी कैन इवन थिंक सो हीज हीज इलीगल क्वेस्ट गॉट अ न्यू डिरेक्शन फ्रॉम द पावर ऑफ कुमकरण सो इफ कुमकरण वुड हैव नॉट स्टेड ऑन रावणा साइड रावणा morale would have collapsed completely and who knows he might have given away sita also i mean he would have never done that but who knows he could have done it <laughs> let's give that benefit of doubt to ravana maybe <laughs> but no because kumkaran was there on his side he was totally convinced that my younger brother is invincible nobody can defeat him so that is why when we know somebody is doing nonsense and we keep supporting them it not only hurts us we will be destroyed in no time but it will destroy them also because they are getting a lot of boost by our association so suppose you have a friend who is going on drinking who is going on watching pornography who is going on smoking who is visiting prostitutes and you go on associating with him even after you know that he is doing nonsense both of you will sink down to the garbage you will be destroyed in no time that's what is happening in the society look what's happening every other day you open the newspaper some lady is getting raped some lady is getting molested huh? sexual harassment physical harassment fake dowry cases my god what's happening in in this world man recently i was seeing a article in a, there's a page in facebook exactly i don't know but it's about christianity yes, something related to catholics in that page there was an article very interesting article that one of the m- f- most uh, one of the fastest growing abuses these days do you know what that is it is not rape it is not dowry it is not abuse <laughs> it's not even violence it's an uh, it, it it was for women basically so it was written in that article that the first one of the most fastest growing abuses for women is the trauma which they face when their husbands are going on watching pornography can you imagine this is the situation my goodness and i saw that article and i was like my god <laughs> even after uh, having a wife even after getting married you are still going on watching pornography that is your situation 
<laughs> so kumkalan represents those people outside and those tendencies inside us that we know that this this is not good i should give this up i should do something to check this but still we don't do <laughs> and then what happens lord ram comes in one ramban he throws and that's it chucked finished we are out knocked off <laughs> so then the question is how to counter the effects of kumkaran very simple go to lord ram yes chant the name of ram lord shiva also says shri ram 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 eti rame rame manorame sahasra nama tatulyam ram nam varanane this is there three times in the vishnu sahasra nam my god three times can you imagine it's not there once twice is three times whenever something is there three times in the scriptures understand it is very prominent that is why they are hitting again and again and again 1 2 3 so go and meet those people who are following the in the footsteps of lord ram who are discussing about the ramayan yes who are who who are maintaining a community where the uh, scriptures are been discussed and cherished and talked and spread so if we do not go and meet those people and instead we keep sitting in home and keep watching big boss or game of thrones or maybe pornography <laughs> then maybe our wives will also go into that group one day right that group <laughs> they will also keep posting another article so i am also a new victim of this group <laughs> all right so that's what is happening in this world it's terrible chaos it's mayhem complete mayhem these days so the solution is let us chant the name of lord ram and read the holy scriptures and associate with those people who remember us who who will give us the remembrance they will remind us of the greatness of lord ram so that we can always follow dharma yes otherwise we will meet the ends of kumkaran we will be dead and along with that who we are supporting ravana he will also die <laughs> so you will die your that die means the die to anyways you will die but you will sink down your friend will sink down your husband your wife your children everybody what happened kumkaran's family entire family perished yes his sons also died i don't know about his wife what happened anyways how does it matter she became a widow later everything is finished for her not she doesn't have anything now husband is dead sons are dead same same thing happened to uh, mandodri all her sons died can you imagine indraji atika atika was not her son of course then devan tak naran tak prahas so all the, they they perished and her husband ravana he also perished so that was the result of kumkaran's support which he gave to ravana he perished his family perished ravana and entire his family the entire dynasty only vibhishan was left my god so let us not invite destruction by doing things which we know will destroy us in future all right and let us meet holy people who will remind us of the greatness of lord ram and force us to not force us they will not force us but they will inspire us to do things in the right way okay So that is it from my side if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it <laughs> and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who you know is doing wrong even after knowing as people say na pata hai lekin phir bhi karta hu hum kabhi nahi sudrenge abhi sudar jao time hai there is still time Better late than never, okay? Until next time. Bye-bye. See you.